145 pounds. It's Todd Tibbetts, a senior for Mineral Points. And Joe Crook, a sophomore for River Valley, 32-6. Nice shot there from Crook. Crook a year ago at 125 was 38 and 11. Tibbetts as a junior, 27 and 15 at the varsity level. Was fourth at sectionals. Tibbetts last year, a conference runner-up and a regional champion. Second team all-conference linebacker on the gridiron for the pointers. Voted the most valuable defensive back for Mineral Points football team. Also, one-year letter winner in golf. Like Tibbetts Crook, letter winner in football. Crook, a sectional qualifier, his goal is to be top three at the state tournaments. No score, a minute five into this first period. Tibbetts and Crook. Here at 145. This match here at 145 brought to you by the Hanor Company. Hanor Family Companies, one of the nation's premier pork producers, operations in seven states and over 500 employees. Hanor has grown to be a world-class leader in pork production by creating and sustaining superior performance, and we thank them for their support of high school wrestling here on BadgerStateWrestling.com. Good first period, good battle going on here at 145. Talk about short time points. There's a take that inside of 10 seconds, and Tibbetts, he'll have some back points and he might get the stick. And the horn saves Crook, and what a big final 10 seconds for Tibbetts. Two takedown and two near fall, 4-0. Choice goes to Crook after Tibbetts defers. And Crook will start on bottom. Situation there, just my opinion. If you're Tibbetts, you score four points in those final 10 seconds, you got the confidence, you are in control. Why not pick bottom? Escape, make it five nothing, get another takedown. Because right now if you're crook, you gotta be thinking, okay, I'm down four nothing, but if I can escape and get a takedown, I'm right back into this match. In my own humble opinion, I'm a big fan of making decisions. If I have choice in that second period, I got a choice, use it. I'm not gonna defer, I'm gonna keep my pace. And I want to be in position, best position, to keep adding points to the scoreboard. So I really like guys that choose bottom, choose neutral, and some guys, understandably so, want to be on top. That's a position they're comfortable in, a position where they know they can score. But I want to be in a position where I'm going to score points. And to me, more often than not, that does not come from deferring. Keep the pressure on. It's four to two. Got ourselves a whole new ball game here with a minute and a half remaining in the second period. Match brought to you by the Hanor Company, headquartered in Spring Green, Wisconsin. Tibbetts trying to tripod up. You see Crook has that claw right. Nice return there by the River Valley sophomore. Doing a good job on top. Has that tight waist. Trapped wrist up on his toes. Putting a lot of pressure on Tibbetts on bottom. Mineral Point and River Valley here to kick off this 2011-2012 season.
good wrestling here in the second period there by Crook. That was a wise decision. Dropped down to a leg, but didn't sit on that leg. Immediately was able to elevate. Tree topped it, tripped him. Brought him back down center of the mat inside of 10 seconds. Crook with a reversal and a ride out to close the second. Still trails it by two on the Vans Honda of Green Bay scoreboard, four to two. Choice goes to Tibbetts. And he'll go on bottom. Come on, Joe. <laughs> Tibbetts goals to be a state qualifier. After finishing fourth at sectionals a year ago as a junior. Once again, Crook able to bring Tibbetts back down to the mat. If you're Tibbetts, you gotta keep wrestling. Keep trying to get to your base. You're up by two. Had that big four point flurry to close out the first. The takedown and the turn, and that's been the difference. Crook looking for a tilt. Trying to pop him on through and bust that 45 degree angle. Time running out on the River Valley sophomore. 105 remaining in regulation. Has an arm bar. Wants to get off to the side and run it. He has that wrist trapped. Crook with 52 seconds, missing out on a golden opportunity. He had that far wrist trapped. He had that arm bar sunk in deep. Now Crook cuts him to make it five to two. I think a wise decision. Rode him for a minute 20 and couldn't turn him. And a nice slick shot there right off the whistle. Wants to keep driving through. Trying to turn the corner. You look at Tibbetts, has his right ankle tied up. Crook has to kick away and release his ankle. He's got Tibbetts on his hips. But precious seconds. Taking away on Crook, he has a takedown. He pulls to within one, five to four. Potentially dangerous whistle. So right now, if you're Crook, you gotta cut him and get right back in on a leg attack. With that escape, it's six to four. Trying to battle back, he trailed this one four to nothing. But with 15 seconds, has a chance. Stalemate, four seconds. And Todd Tibbetts hangs on to get the W here at 145. Six to four the final. Tibbetts over Crook. Match brought to you by the Hanor Company here on BanderStateWrestling.com.